So I've gotten to step four. I've been able to add audio, change the settings, animate the slide, do it how I like, and then change the transitions as well. So I am making this look more and more like a video and less and less like a slide. So it's time to export it. And depending on your PowerPoint version, when you go to file and export to create your video, you're gonna get something like presentation quality or you're gonna see HD. The only thing to point out here is just be aware that however you're creating your video, if it's going on a big screen, you may want a HD version or presentation quality in my case. But if it's going to a mobile device or to an app where data amounts and file sizes are important, or if you're just having this being reviewed in your office, you may just wanna create a smaller video file. The other thing I wanna point out just before I click that create video is that this is a really short presentation. So there's no really reason for me to make this more than one video, but I'm very aware and as you all are that micro learning is a thing. So if you're making your PowerPoints into videos, think about how you would design them for nice breaks between sections. So you could also export your video in sections to create smaller bite-sized chunk videos. So with that in mind, I'm going to file, export, create a video. I'm choosing, in this case, low quality. I'm using the recorded timings and narrations of my presentation. So now when I go to create video, I choose which one I want, save it in my files, and you'll know your video is done because right down here on the bottom is this little progress of your video rendering. And at the end of the day, you'll have a video of your entire PowerPoint presentation 